Hi, this is Donna. Welcome to DD Paper Crafts. I recently watched a YouTube video for a pop up vase card, and this is the card that I made. I wondered if I would be able to replicate the mechanism on a larger card base as I thought I could make a Halloween card. Here's the Halloween card I made and I will go into more depth regarding the decoration at the end of the video but you can see that I have managed to create two pop-ups on a much larger format card. So on today's video I'm going to show you how I created these larger mechanisms and the sizes that I made. The overall card is 8 by 8 and I have included a small gusset in mine because I wanted to add some elements of dimension. My card will be 8 by 8. For the card base you'll need a piece which is 8 by 8 and then for the doors you'll need two pieces which are 4 and 5 eighths by 8 and along the 4 and 5 eighths inch side I've scored at half an inch and 5 eighths of an inch and do that on both pieces. Fold and burnish along the score lines. Now decide depending on your decoration whether you want your tabs to sit underneath or on top of your base and also consider your decoration as to whether you want to add a wedge or not to the top edges of the tab. If you were going to use a full piece of 8x8 cardstock for instance on the back you might not want to cut a wedge but if you were going to be adding a smaller mat to allow a border you might want to cut a wedge in. So just think about the decoration. This is for demonstration purposes so I'm going to leave my tabs flush and I'm going to add the tabs to the back of the main card base. Add your adhesive to the half inch glue tab, line up the card base with the half inch score line and adhere my door into place. I've obviously as I explained I'm using a gusset but you may not need a gusset piece in which case your doors would be four and a half inches in size and you would score at half an inch. I'm going to add my second door so that's how my piece looks. Now at this stage with the true card what you would want to do is add your DSP to the back panel and to the insides of the doors if you're using DSP because your mechanism is going to sit over the top. For each mechanism for an 8 inch card you'll need one piece which is 7.5 inches and it can be as deep as you want for your desired look. I'm using 3 inch card because that will then allow me to have two 3 inch mechanisms at the top and the bottom of the card base. Along the long side score at half inch and on the short side score at 7 eighths of an inch down to the half inch score line only. Flip it over so our first score line is here and again score at 7 eighths. So that's our first mechanism piece and for the second piece you'll need a strip which is eight and a half by one and along the long side score up half an inch and eight inches. And in addition for each mechanism you'll need a strip which is half an inch by two and a half inches. On the one inch strip fold and burnish the half inch score lines and just cut a wedge from the ends and this is to create a glue tab and on the largest piece fold over the half inch tab with the half inch tab in front of you cut up each of the seven eighths of an inch score lines up to the half inch horizontal and flip back the two end glue tabs to remove the center section and then cut a wedge from the ends of each of these glue tabs. Add a curve into the section before you glue your piece together and if you are going to use DSP on top of this add a curve into that as well before you glue it on top. It just helps maintain the shape. Lay your one inch strip down and fold up and over the right hand tab. Add glue to the top of the tab take your larger piece, 
line up the right hand side of the larger piece with the folded end of the one inch strip. Make sure the piece is sitting squarely and that your strip at the back is equidistant between the gap on the left hand side. You want to make sure this is all sitting parallel because if it's slightly wonky it will affect the mechanism as it opens. Flip the piece back and burnish down the glue tab and that's our mechanism. It's very easy to resize the mechanism to suit whatever card base you're going to be using. The premise is the length of this whole piece once it's added together is half an inch less than double your card base. For instance my card base is 8 inches so I've got 16 inches to play with and the total length of my two pieces added together come to 15 and a half inches. And that is why I've had to deconstruct the mechanism and create it in two parts because I don't have cardstock which is this long. In addition, assuming you're going to have a deconstructed mechanism, your pop-up panel piece will be one inch shorter than the mechanism strip. Once you've made your pop-up sections, take your card base. I'm going to sit my mechanism in the height that I want using the full panel as a guide. And the end of my glue tab here is going to sit up against the four inch score line on my door. So if you don't have the gusset, you will line it up with your half inch score line. I'm going to add glue to the half inch tab and you want to make sure that the tab, the end of the tab is not interfering with the score line. I'm going to fold over the four inch section. So my gusset is currently underneath. That's got nothing glued to it at all. Don't lift it until you're sure it's dried and then Opening and closing the door allows the mechanism to move. Take your strip. I'm going to add glue to the ends, top and bottom. And I'm going to glue that over the top of the one inch mechanism. And it's approximately a quarter of an inch away from the, the larger piece. Flip your piece over, add glue to the two glue tabs on the larger piece, tuck the tabs under. Now the next bit is slightly fiddly. Fold your largest piece back towards the hinge, push the larger piece down and close the door. You want to make sure that the two tabs on the larger piece are tucked in towards the centre of the card. So you can use a ruler to get in there underneath to push those down. Once you're happy that they're in place, make sure that the piece is flat and I'm just going to burnish over the top. So do take your time with this. If we open the card, we can see that the middle section pops out. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same with the top mechanism. My mechanism is going to open from the other side, so I'm going to turn my card base upside down and completely repeat the process. Now that's dried, you can see that I open the doors and both the top and bottom mechanism pull out and create the pop out. So I'm now going to create the Halloween card. As I showed at the beginning, here's the Halloween card. I've created the look of two doors on top of the gatefold. I've used a sheet of 8 inch DSP which I've cut in half. I've created a foam edge which I've then used to add acetate on the top. And I've then cut some black card stock strips to create this door slash window look. The ephemera are from Simply Made Crafts Spooky Web Ephemera Pack from Craft Stash. I'm not sure if they're still available. I've then used two eyelets which I've stuck a couple of googly eyes on the top to create the handles for the door. So the doors open, 
so you can see the top and the bottom pop up. The cardstock, washi strip and ephemera on the inside are all from the Mater Surprise brand from Craftstash and the spider is on an action wobbler which I've added some googly eyes to. The letters I've cut out using some alphabet dies and I've added a layer onto the mechanism which I stamped some white spider webs on and added some silver gilding polish for an additional look. Overall I'm really happy with how this card has come out. It has achieved exactly what I wanted. You can see the profile from the top so it does pop out and it pops out about one and three quarters of an inch from the back of the base. The pop-up file style in itself is very versatile which you can use all year round but I think this just adds an additional element and use of that mechanism. So this video is not so much about the Halloween card but it's to show you how you can use additional mechanisms in your card base for different looks. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.